Hello dear all, I am Santosh Wa and welcome to channel Learn Easily by Sandhya Wa. In the series of these videos, we will see solutions for 8th standard scholarship examination question paper 2022 mathematics section. So let's start our video and see questions from 61 to 65 of set A. See the question number 61. The ages of 60s children in a class are given in the frequency distribution table below. From this, find their mean age. Mean age means average of all 60. children here what is given 13 children are there of age 12 year 12 children are there of age 13 21 children are there of age 14 and 14 children are there of age 15 so here we must calculate the total age of all the 60 children and then we can take the average here total age of the first group that is total age of the first group will be 12 is the age and there are 13 children so this will be the 12 into 13 that is equal to 156 similarly in the second group there are age is 13 and number of children are 12 so again multiplication is 156 156 is the total age of all these 12 uh, children similarly age if age is 14 there are 21 children so Total age will be multiplication of these 14, one the 14, 14 to 28 plus 9, 29. Then for the last group, age is 15, but there are total 14 students. So total age will be that will be equal to 0, So we got the total age. If we take the summation of all these groups, we will get here 6 plus 6, 12 plus 4. That is here sixteen, and here one, and get over two. That is eight. So eight one six is the total age, and number of total children are sixty. So if we take the average, that is mean is equal to eight one six divided by sixty. Here we will get just divided by six. Here we will get ten, and six one the six six three the. 18 and 6 is a 36. That will be equal to 13.6 years. So mean will be 13.6 year, and which is option? Option number two is our correct one. See so the question number 62. The curved surface area of a cone is 47.10 square centimeter. If radius of base is 3 centimeter, then what is its perpendicular height? Pi is given. Here cone is like this. I will just Draw a rough sketch of cone. Cone is like this. If this is a cone, then curved surface is this, and area of this curved surface is given 47.10. Also, radius is given. That radius is 3 cm is given. Let the point O. Now, with the help of this area, we can calculate. This length, this length, because formula for the area of curved surface of area curved surface of this cone, let it be v that will be equal to pi r l, where l is this length, because if we unfold, we will get a uh, this length l. This is formula. With the help of this, we can calculate this l. Now, but what is r? Perpendicular height is r from this vertex, isn't it? So this height is r. It is not r. This l, x is r. This perpendicular distance is r. But with this formula, we will get l, and from l we can calculate this x. So just calculate this l. V is equal to given 47.10 pi. We can write 3.14. R is given 3 centimeter, and l we have to calculate. So l we equal to 47.10 divided by 314 3.14 into 3 now as there are points we can cancel this point and can write 4710 divided by 314 into 3 because there are two digits after points in numerator and in denominator so we can cancel this point now divide this 4710 by 3 3 1 3 Three one the three, three five the fifteen, three seven the twenty one, and the zero. So we will get here one five seven zero 
डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री वन फोर नाउ सी यर थ्री वन फोर इफ वी मल्टीप्लाइड बाय फाइव वी विल गेट फिफ्टीन एंड फोर्टीन फाइव इज सेवेंटी सो डायरेक्टली मल्टीप्लाई दिस वन एंड यर फाइव वाइल कैलकुलेटिंग वाइल सॉल्विंग सच टाइप ऑफ एग्जाम्पल्स दीज आर द राउंड फिगर्स ऑलवेज गिवन सो यूज ट्रिक्स वी विल गेट एल इक्वल टू फाइव बट वॉट इज आस एल इज नॉट आस दिस लेंथ इज नॉट आस पर पेंडिंग टू डिस्टेंस इज आस सी फाइव सेंटीमीटर इज ऑल्सो दिन इज ऑप्शन सो डू नॉट मेक एनी कन्फ्यूजन कैलक्युलेट दिस एक्स विथ द हेल्प ऑफ पायथोग्रस थेरम वी गॉट अ ट्रैंगल हियर वी आर गेटिंग ट्रैंगल दिस इज एल दिस इज एक्स एंड दिस इज अ डिस्टन्स थ्री सेंटीमीटर एल वी गॉट फाइव सेंटीमीटर and with the help of this pythagoras theorem we can calculate this is a pythagoras triplet so x will be equal to square root of this 5 square minus this 3 square and it is very simple you can guess also 25 minus 9 that is equal to square root of 16 so x is equal to 4 cm this is a triplet of pythagoras 3 4 5 So four centimeter is our correct answer. See the question number sixty-three. How many coins of thickness point two centimeter and diameter four centimeter will be formed by melting a solid metallic cuboid of length twenty-two centimeter, breadth eighteen centimeter, and height six centimeter? See here a cuboid, metallic solid cuboid is given with dimensions are twenty-two, eighteen, and six. So just draw a rough sketch. this is not to proportion but it is just for our better understanding if this is a metal cuboid and dimensions these are dimensions are given this 22 then this 18 and this 6 cm these are not to proportion just for understanding this metallic cuboid with the help of this metallic cuboid by melting it we are making coins coins are like this you know coins are like this thickness is given see this thickness is given 0.2 0.2 cm is given isn't it and diameter is also given this diameter this distance is given 4 cm now we have to calculate the number of coins that will be formed here we must calculate the total volume of this cuboid and divide the volume of this coin it will be the very simple so just calculate the volume of this cuboid v1 that is l into b into h l is 22 then b is 18 and height is 6 now see here it is not necessary to take the multiplication so keep it as it is it will help for our further calculation so we got the v1 Now V2, that is volume of this coin, volume of this coin will be equal to. It is cylindrical shape like this, isn't it? So pi r square into h. Pi is 22 upon 7. Then r, r is given, diameter is given 4 centimeter. R will be 2 because r is half of the diameter. It will be 2 into 2, and h means thickness. This point 2. All dimensions are in centimeter. Now, total number of coins, number of coins that will be equal to V1 upon V2. Very simple. Now, V1 is that will be equal to V1 is 22 into 18 into 6 divided by V2. That is 22 upon 7 into 2 into 2 into 0.2. Now, simplify this. So, see here. it is not necessary to take the multiplication or calculate the volume v1 directly here it becomes simpler for our further calculations now so this 22 will get cancel this 22 will get cancel cancel which is possible so this 2 2 and here we will get 3 now here 2 and here we will get 9 so put here 9 into 3 divided by this 7 will go here because it is in denominator and is point to as it is just simplify this 27 into 7 divided by point to point to means 1 upon 5 so 
so it will be equals number of coins number of coins will be equal to 27 upon 27 into 7 into point 0.2 means 1 upon 5 means it is 5 isn't it are you getting point 0.2 is equal to 1 upon 5 so it will go in numerator directly and multiplication of this will be multiply, multiply this 7 7 49 and 7 and 14 plus 4 that is 189 into 5 that will be equal to 5 nines of 45 then 5 nines of 40 plus 4 44 here will 4 near 9 so we got 945 numbers and which is option option 4 is our correct option see the question number 64 the area of square is 4.4 one square centimeter then what is its perimeter very simple you know square is like this all sides are equal and side let it be x it will be x all sides will be x now area is given a is equal to formula is x square which is equal to 4.41 so x will be square root of 4.41 that is we got x equal to 4.41 square root is 2.1 that will centimeter directly we can get the side of this now what is us what is perimeter perimeter is 4 into side 4 into x 4 into 2.1 so we got perimeter that is 8.4 and you need to be centimeter what is option 8.4 that is fourth option very simple problem see the question number 65 the base radius of cylindrical tank is 28 cm. It contains water, a metal cuboid of length 44 cm, breadth 14 cm and height 8 cm is dropped in it, into it. Then what is the increase in level of water in the tank? Now see here for better visualization I will draw a sketch of this cylindrical tank. Cylindrical tank is like this. If this is the height and this is the base then this cylindrical tank is given which dimensions are 28 centimeter is radius given this radius this radius is given 28 centimeter and it is filled with the water let the water level be like this so in this level water is poured now what is asked what is given a metal cuboid of length 44 cm, 14 cm and 8 cm dimensions it drop in it. So let's draw a simple sketch of this cuboid which is dropped in the this. Let this simple sketch for our better understanding. This cuboid, metal cuboid is dropped. So water level will increase. If this is the original level then water level will go somewhere here let it be the new level isn't it so this level this level is increased because metal cuboid is deep let it be t then what is us then what is the increase in level this t is us now to calculate t which is this t means the volume of this water is also increased which is equal to the volume of this metal cuboid so we must calculate the volume of this metal cuboid so volume of this volume of cuboid volume of cuboid volume of cuboid is equal to length into breadth into height and this dimensions are given that is equal to 44 into 14 into 8 again see here it is not necessary to simplify this because it helps for our further calculation this is the volume of this cuboid unit will be centimeter cube now see here this is the increase in water level we have considered as t but it is equal to the volume of this cuboid if we consider this increase in terms of volume of this cylindrical because water is in the cylinder so volume of water increase here volume of water volume of water increase that will be also we can also calculate like it pi r square into t 
because water is in the cylindrical tank. Pi r square into t, this much volume is only increased. So we can equate and calculate the value of t. So that will be equal to pi is 22 upon 7. Then R is given, R of the cylinder is 28 centimeter, so 28 into 28 and this T. So these two must be same, volume of this cuboid and volume of water in this must be same. So if we equate, we will get here 44 into 14 into 8, that will be equal to 22 upon 7 into 28 into 28 into t isn't it now just simplify we will get t is equal to this 7 on the 7 7 for the 28 now t equal to this 44 into 14 into 8 divided by transfer this all this in numerator we will get 22 into this 4 into 28 now further simplify this 22 and here will be 22 to the 44 now these two and this will be 2 then 14 on the 14 14 to the 28 we are getting 8 upon 4 8 upon 4 that is equal to 2 2 centimeter so our answer is 2 centimeter increase in the level of water is 2 centimeter which is option 1 this is all for this video thank you